Oh no, SpongeBob's drowned. The important thing to remember about SpongeBob is he lives in a pineapple and Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and hello. Welcome to Sammy McLeod. This is my Stadia Pro Showcase look at Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Uh, from what I understand this is an old PlayStation 2 era game. Uh, it's been remastered, uh, put into high definition and now we get to play it without any downloads, without to wait for any updates. We can play it live through the power of the cloud on Google Stadia. Now before we go any further, I pressed record a little bit too early. I forgot to link my Stadia controller. So let's just do that. But it's also a good indication of just how easy it is to do this. I've already typed in the code, waiting a few seconds for the controller to connect to the Wi-Fi. And there we go, it's vibrated. And we've got a little no noise. It also shows me controllers charged, which is always very nice to see. So we'll go straight into the game. Don't forget if you like this video, if you want to be, want to see more videos from me, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, uh, click the notification bell so you can get a little ping on your mobile devices every time I go live. I've got this, I'll be also doing uh, Stadia Pro Showcase videos for the other two Pro games that dropped this month. Yes, two. We had three games. I'm, I'm not going to say which one I'm not going to do. I never watched SpongeBob SquarePants too much as a kid, but you still know the uh, the theme tune. SpongeBob SquarePants. So we've got a new game. Here's a multiplayer option. I don't know what that will be. Uh, options. Nothing too much. Uh, and credits. So as, as the uh, theme song sort of talks about, we've got Welcome a, to Bikini oh, Bottom, okay. a moving. normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally met, steal uh, the Krabby Patty formula. His mouth and if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. The audio definitely is tuned up to his mouth. Is I suspect this is where it's been re-blasted. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, hello. Uh -oh. What do you think you're doing? No, 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 wait, wait, but I'm your master! I made you! No, no, oh, my good China! Another perfect day that playing robots and racehorses. This is, uh... Yeah. Not oh, the best yeah. port, right? Yeah. Because that's Patrick's up. voice, but Wouldn't SpongeBob's speaking. Wouldn't it be great if you had real robots to play mm. with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Junior, or Zorlon, or maybe Frankie. Oh yeah. dear. This is real robots. This is getting good. boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how selfish of you! I, 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 not just I'm any not sure what's going on here. Is it is this magic wishing shell? Wow, that's 
That's great, box. Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing chair. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But, Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama, Alabala, Wisna, Tikitana, Fushbar, Griddle, Bits, Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Yeah, Are you sure it pretty doesn't well work? Then. Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> This, this is nearly robots, unplayable, gonna I robots, hope. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? I hope we get the uh, the audio synced during the gameplay. Yeah, it's Gary, it problems. sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! The, um... How do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this. Explore the kitchen. Explore the bedroom. Explore the attic. Explore the closet, which has got this new rather nice golden spatula, which it looks like I'll need to open that door. It is actually called a golden spatula. That was a good guess. Shines. So we've got these collectible, what are they, water splashes? I'm not sure. I'm guessing they, they're being used as currency in the game. That's our one to read. SpongeBob may see how well he was doing by pressing R2. The number in the top right is how many shiny objects Spongebob has. And the number in the upper centre is spatulas, and then Patrick's lost socks, and the underwear. All of those very important. So we've already got 50 Eight of these uh, I splashes. Make a snack, but there's no time! So I can pay 50 up uh, to access that area and get the spatula. Superb. See, the, there's some more underpants. Apparently, I can't pick those up. Okay. as many golden spatulas as we can. I make myself a snack, but there's no time! I make myself a snack, but there's no time! You can tell this is a PS2 era game because he's uh, repeating himself often. Again and again and again. Have I? What was that? I pressed triangle. I'm not, I'm well, why, as we say on the stadium control, a triangle for the uh, PlayStation controllers. I'm really lost as to a... I must be able I to find make some more, snack, some more splash no thingies. So I want to try and go in through there, but I can't. I need more shiny objects. Looks like I'm using that. And I'll exit the house. If SpongeBob's a sponge and he lives underwater. Why is he so easy to move? You know when sponges get really, really wet and really, really sodden. There is nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to 
steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's cool, for sure. Cool stuff. They just like, showed up cool out of stuff. nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? <laughs> Before they bend. Not the forks! Of course I'll help! But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. So oh. You've got a deal. So it's already a trick, so I don't really want to do that yet. Hello. SpongeBob, this crab robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no. <laughs> no more fry cooking. But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out, and of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Sounds good. How, how many do I need? Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? <coughs> I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny 3, objects to treat. I've got eight. Set in, kids. This is hey, going to be SpongeBob. a Oh, hello. I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble Buddy. I bubble Buddy. didn't know Bubble Buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves okay. if you're going to journey. But uh, all I need to do is. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right. Press this button and you'll launch yourself That's straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out. Like that. Stand on these. They look like the masks in Crash Bandicoot. Jim, I can hear you now. Right. Only holding down R3 to run, of course, that doesn't work. There's only 10 spatulas for that. Found any any shiny objects recently? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh no, I thought that was one back there. To activate this button, press Y. It says X. Ow! What? Go back. No. No, the clock stopped. Okay, okay, that was wrong. So let's go. Let's go back out into the main area. This could be a very short first look because I'm really not getting this game at all. I did have a PS2, but I never, I never played this game. Try and travel to Jellyfish Fields. Let's, let's see what that gives me. I've got no idea. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish oh, good. Fields. Cut scene. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. And there's the duplicator ah! truck. Ah! Oh, Squiggle! Ah! The most relatable character of all time. That was insane. The audio's back in sync. 
We're done. We're Squidward, done it. Are you... No, I'm not okay, you barnacle. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than <clears> usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to what? rub all over yourself. SpongeBob's new heroic voice. Oh, right. There we go. See, now I can go back and open up that other room in SpongeBob's house. But I've had to go all the way to Jellyfish Fields to do it. Ooh. Okay, so... This is a teleport box. And you have both the teleport boxes in the area open. You can teleport between them by jumping inside. Okay. So that I've never one open yet. So I've got to go there. If only I had some sort of teleport. We can't box, jellyfish like. today. I'm going fishing for robots. Fresh like a spring breeze. Just my size. Okay, so pressing X is. How can break open those boxes? That's what they're there for. I was trying to work out. And that gives me these. Splash things. Okay, it doesn't tell me that at all anywhere. Okay, apparently I can't pick up that. Right, I can go back now. Oh no, Spongebob's drowned. The important thing to remember about Spongebob is he lives in a pineapple and... Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Right, now I've got a few more of these uh, shiny things, which look more like splashes than shiny things to me, but oh well. We can... Uh, Go back into SpongeBob's house and open up that door. In fact, whilst we're here, because you see, I know how to do it now. That's better. Don't need any more just yet. Find out what was in that other door. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. I feel like a new sponge. Keep that to yourself. Right, this will probably tell me that the uh, the underpants are basically hit points. Oh no, it's going to tell me how to jump. Double jump, which to be fair, I didn't know. And change room that way, or change room that way. I can't remember which way we came in. So this I'm is where I one. keep all my old comic yeah, books. This is new. Just 
these boxes. Look like the uh, the Aku Aku masks. This is where I keep all my old comic books. R1. Press B in midair and SpongeBob do a bubble bounce attack. Bubble bounce attack. Y on the ground and Sponge will do a bubble bash attack. Yep, we know that one. <gasps> Beach ball! There's no bonus point if I can put this anywhere. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. And now I've unlocked all of the rooms in SpongeBob's house and I've had an explore. I can go back out and I can actually make some sense of these things now. Oh, thank God. The game doesn't tell you this, and it's let's be fair, this is a game that's aimed at kids, isn't it? It's that button now. Uh, completely forgot it. Oh well, let's enter Squidward's house. First, those stupid robots ruined a oh, perfectly fine. relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Turn my I am so sorry, Squidward. Oh, I correct me. Squidward, I don't... Why don't you move to another was town? A good place. That should help out more what, than what's enough. What's going on here? I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. I love opening presents. Okay. Any more? Volume 22. Squirmy, swirly, splashy bits. I've got no idea what they... I don't want to call them shiny things. They're not shiny to me. Oh, wow. Because it's an old PS2 game, I've respawned out here and sold all the boxes and collectibles. That's broken. I don't seem to be able to walk up there. Looks like whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it at Shellyfish Fields. So let's, let's go there, see what we can find, but I suspect I've only got like five, five or ten minutes more on this. Some boxes. Knocked him into those boxes, that was good.
I am just spamming the attack button. Hidden area. Plenty of stuff. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. And now SpongeBob's drowning. Again, he, he lives under the sea. How how is that place even working? This music is slightly catchy. I'll have this in my head all day now. And it's done by airplane, because of course it is. Checkpoint, a checkpoint. We've reached a checkpoint. Let's see if we go a little bit further. Just my side. We'll get up to that three thousand we need for a spatula. It shines. All right, yeah, those are shining. Don't really want to get hit by though, it seems. Thought that was quick. Gary, what's shaking? Wow. Wow. wow! A bungee jump! A bungee jump! Yeah! What? I want to be special walking bungee from it. Jump up, touch it, dive down, we press A. Okay. Boing. Ah, so that, that was how you get these things. Mm. There we go. Oh, that's a second golden scratcher, and probably a very good time to leave. It. So there we go. That was my first look at SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. It's quite a mouthful. Uh, first impressions: it's a it's a sorry game. It's not something I'm going to be playing too much, but it's I'm probably not the target audience. I'm mid twenties. I played a lot more games like Immortals Phoenix Rising and, and Lara Croft Tomb Raider as opposed to Spongebob Squarepants but as a family game particularly for young children I think it works well be a little bit careful at the start obviously we have that issue with the cutscene and beginning and the audio seemed to be wildly out of sync I don't know what was going on with that uh, if they're able to patch that if THQ Nordic can work their magic on the game that'd be brilliant it just those little things which would make the game a little bit more more interesting and convince parents to buy it for the children or indeed play it on Stadia Pro like I have. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys soon.